In this video, we're going to have a look at the new Microsoft credentials, Microsoft Applied Skills. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. So in late October 2023, Microsoft announced a new addition to its Microsoft credentials. So its credentials were typically Microsoft certifications. So these would be quiz type exams. So for example, you have the PL900, which tests your knowledge of the fundamentals of the Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, and so on. Then you have more intermediate certifications like the PL100, where you get tested still in a quiz format about how to actually create your Power Apps and Power Automate flows. In October 2023, Microsoft announced a new edition, Microsoft Applied Skills. So it is a verifiable credential. In other words, you get your credential as a certificate and you are able to say, this is mine and here is a unique number so you can verify it. And it targets individual skills. So whereas the Microsoft certifications may look at a broader range, like for instance, the Power Platform looks at Power Apps, Automate, Power BI, AI Builder, and the rest of it, the applied skills will just look at one particular skill, for example, Power Automate, and something more specific in that skill. So you can see that it is a very targeted validation for real life scenarios. It allows you to show what skills you can do and what you can bring to your current or new organizations. So instead of being a quiz based exam, like the Microsoft certifications, this is a doing exam. So you'll be given some scenarios and say, please do this, please achieve this particular goal. So you won't be given all the step by step instructions, you'll be required to know how to actually achieve this goal. So you can see Microsoft says, focus your efforts on a skill set that is critical to a business problem. And it really does focus on one particular problem. Earn your credentials by passing an online on-demand assessment. Microsoft say that it is offered at no cost for a limited time. And I have done one of these and I can verify that I have done it for free. So you can share your Microsoft verified credentials and skills. The Corporate Vice President for Microsoft Customer and Partner Solutions Enablement and Operations, Kim Akers, has said, Organisations are searching for talent that can spearhead their most transformational projects in cloud computing and AI. With Microsoft Applied Skills, we are offering a streamlined path to validate someone's skills. So whether you're a hiring manager, a recruiter, or simply a teammate looking to collaborate, when you see a credential that is verified by Microsoft, you know that you can trust that individual to do the task at hand. Now, what exactly are the applied skills? Well, if I click on it, then at the moment we have eight applied skills and they largely center on Microsoft Azure. So we've got configure SIM security operations using Microsoft Sentinel, configure secure access to your workloads using Azure networking, deploy and configure Azure monitor, deploy containers by using Azure Kubernetes service, secure Azure services and workloads with Microsoft Defender for cloud regulatory compliance controls and secure storage for Azure files and Azure blob storage. So we've got six skills which are Azure based. We've also got in the world of .NET, develop an ASP.NET core web app that consumes an API, an application programming interface. And for Power Platform, we've got create and manage automated processes by using Power Automate. Now these eight skills are just the beginning. Microsoft have announced that they'll be looking to expand credentials focused on AI and other business scenarios. So these are some draft skills which are not yet available. Create an intelligent document processing solution with Azure AI Document Intelligence. Build a natural language processing solution with Azure AI services. Build an Azure AI vision solution with Azure AI services. Create and manage apps with Power Platform. So that's a companion to the Power Automate. And migrate SQL Server Workload to Azure SQL. 
So let's have a look at one of these applied skills and I'm going to choose the Power Automate floor creation. And as you can see, I've passed this credential. So all of these applied skills are marked as intermediate. So you will need a moderate amount of learning for this. And you can see the tasks that are being performed are fairly high level, create triggers, create and configure actions for notifications. Well, between those two, you've got create an entire floor. Implement conditional logic, create and configure approvals, and configure owners and sharing. And you have a learning path. And you can see this learning path is three hours, 24 minutes. Now this learning path is a bit interesting. First of all, configure owners and sharing. Not one page in this learning path is to do with configuring owners and sharing. However, there is more than what is in the requirements in this learning path. For example, you'll be looking at business process flaws. That's not one of the requirements here. So the learning path, it's an interesting way to start, but you actually have to look at what you are being asked to learn, what you will be examined on and have a look at the learning path. So you can see that this module is more than one learning path. And really what they've taken is an existing learning path and put it into this particular applied skill, regardless of whether it is 100% successful or not. So hopefully this will be something that Microsoft will refine. You can see that you have two hours to complete this assessment. It will use an interactive lab to evaluate your performance. So it's not the case of here are a lot of questions, please answer them. It's actually doing. Now you can do other activities while the lab loads and your mouse movements and text entered during the lab will be recorded for quality purposes. Sadly, I was not able to find any way to register my feedback. You can see that I didn't get 100%. And the reason for that is because the environment was slightly broken and I couldn't do the actual last activity of one of the things it was asking me to do. It was impossible. You click on the buttons and it says, sorry, there is not enough permissions. However, as you can see, the pass score was 66% and I got 83%, so that's fine. Is this something that you should be interested in? And I think if you've already got the skills, why not? You can just add to your rotor of credentials, especially given that right now you can enter them for free and you can revise using these learning paths and maybe other resources. And as I say, soon they will expand beyond what is here. Indeed, you might notice that previously there were eight applied skills and there's actually nine on this poster. Implement security through a pipeline using Azure DevOps. So whether that's one that's coming or whether that's one that they had a look at and have decided not to do, I don't know. So what is a good way for you to prepare for these Microsoft applied skills? Well, going through these learning paths is certainly a good way to start, but you'll need to make sure that you know all of these things, not just the ones that it shows you in the learning path. Now, maybe you are a visual learner and you'd like to see videos on it. Well, we at idodata.com are preparing a series of courses, one for each of the Microsoft applied skills. So whether it is Azure or Power Platform, you will soon be able to see a course for each of these Microsoft applied skills. We'll be using a series of practice activities. So you have an objective and I'll show you how to fulfill them. And by this method of teaching through practical example, you should be able to be ready for the Microsoft applied skills. So please come to our website, idodata.com and have a look through fundamentals, Azure and Power Platform for these Microsoft applied skills. So which skill are you most interested in taking? Why not let me know in the comments to this video? I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, then why not click on the like and why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. In the next video, we'll be looking at Microsoft Power Platform and specifically Microsoft Power Automate. I hope you'll join me there. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.